What's up, people? So I just want to make this clear because in my first video that I ever filmed, I said I was going to post every single Friday, but I've decided to do every Sunday. So yes, I'm wearing a Maverick hoodie. So for this week's video, I've decided that I would to discuss Hanny. So if you don't know who Hanny is, it's um, Hayden Summerall and Annie LeBlanc. So I'm going to start um, about who they are. So Annie LeBlanc is um, this girl. <laughs> And she is part of this vlog family called Bertaley, who have over 6.4 million subscribers, which is really cool. And Hayden Summerall is this kid. All right, so they're on this show together called Chicken Girls, which I'm literally obsessed. I'm not. I'm so obsessed with it. It's on YouTube with this channel called Brat, and I literally 10 out of 10 recommend. So that's basically when they fell in love. So together they filmed a lot of like singing covers and stuff. And about um, a month ago, Annie finally came up with a statement that they were actually dating and that Hayden cheated on her. So, I'm going to be doing some research to find out the juice. First off, I'd like to say that I'm sorry that it took this long to get to the point of this video. And I also apologize for saying juice instead of tea. I'm so embarrassed. All right, continue. <sighs> okay. Wow, he's very attractive. Look at me. Fuck. So around the beginning of May, Annie posted a quote on her Instagram, which read, um, Life has taught me that you can't control somebody's loyalty. No matter how good you are to them, doesn't mean they'll treat you the same. No matter how much they mean to you, doesn't mean they'll value the same. Sometimes the people you love the most turn out to be the people you can trust the least. And her caption was, um... Denying the truth doesn't change the facts. He was my boyfriend. Confirmed, even though we all knew they were dating, because, I mean, look at that. And then she's like, after telling him that I was uncomfortable with him talking to her more than me, he continued to do it, so I broke up with him. This girl is Mackenzie Ziegler. And if you don't know who that is, I'm... Pretty sure you live under a rock. But she was on the hit show Dance Moms. She's still pretty famous. This is her. <coughs> Hayden and her have a history of dating um, back in like 2016. Um, but they broke up. And actually Mackenzie and Annie were actually pretty close friends as seen in the, some of the Bertelli vlogs. So I'm really confused why this had to f*** up Hanny. Like, people don't understand how mad I am because they were so cute and Annie literally deserves the world. Another fact about um, Annie and her family, her brother Caleb died about three years ago when he was at the age of 13 and that was really tough for their family because they were all so close. Apparently around the same time, Hayden and Annie were having their differences. The LeBlancs were going through a really rough time because it was official that Annie had outlived Caleb. Mrs. LeBanc posted something on Instagram and you could tell that they were like really tough and I don't know why. Someone would ever do this, like Mackenzie Ziegler, like explain why you had to, that relationship up. Oh. If I'm being honest, I don't even know what I was trying to say. But as you can tell, I'm really passionate about this situation. And basically, I think I was just trying to say that the LeBlancs were going through a really hard time. And Mackenzie literally did something so bad and so mean to Annie. And I just don't get how someone could be mean to that beautiful girl. Alright. They're so cute. I need more. I need more information. Oh. I just want everyone to see how many, um, videos I've watched on this. Okay, so, started there. Because it sucks. I'm very passionate about this. Random fact, Annie LeBlanc is worth $500,000. Oh my god, Hayden is so hot. They're so cute as the drama was like spewing everyone started getting involved like all of Hayden's like family getting involved 
And Mackenzie's just stirring up shit like she always does. And she tweeted, I never thought me being friends with someone would cause such drama. Girl, you broke up literally the cutest relationship ever. Like, ugh. I'm so mad. I'm so mad. All right, so this is what I've gotten so far. Apparently, Mackenzie and Hayden are like best friends, even after they broke up and like dated for a little bit, but they were still best friends. And Mackenzie looked like she was getting a little too close to Hayden. In some clips I found, um, Mackenzie was trying to dance next to Hayden and kiss him or something. And apparently Annie wasn't really comfortable with Hayden talking to Mackenzie more than he was talking to her. And so she confronted him and was like, yo, like I'm not comfortable with this. And apparently Hayden like flipped out and was like, this is stupid. Like, let me talk to my best friend. And so he continued to talk to her. There's no information that he actually cheated with Mackenzie. I mean, there's some clips of her and Hayden cuddling. There's pictures of them together. Mackenzie tweeted this. Why do I like you all over again? Who could this be about? So then Annie was like, we're over then. We're over then. If you like her more than me, we're over. And you know what Hayden did? Talk to Mackenzie about the breakup. Like, honestly, fuck Hayden and Mackenzie. Annie deserves the literal world. Stop! I'm gonna cry. They're so cute. They're so cute. They were such a cute couple. I can't. I just found something. Okay, so Instagram had a prom. Before they even dated, Hanny and Aiden. Oh my god, I just said Hanny and Aiden. Hayden and Annie were really good friends. So it kind of seemed weird that they weren't friends anymore after their breakup. So at Instagram prom, they were completely ignoring each other, even though they were literally like five feet from each other. Chicken Girls recently released a movie and they had a premiere for it. Annie was still ignoring Hayden. And in some of the pictures taken at the premiere, it looked like Hayden was staring at Annie like, oh my God, I miss you, like, ah. And then after the premiere was seen leaving with this kid named Austin, who I don't know who, I don't know who Austin is. Austin. And Annie, okay. Oh, ooh, I found it. Ooh, ooh, this kid. It says his name's Austin Brown. All right, I got it. So he's an Instagram star. He's 16 years old. He's, he covers songs and like sings. His birthday is June 25th. He's from Orlando. Nope. What's OR? Oregon. <laughs> Oregon. Okay, so he's from Oregon. All right, he's pretty attractive. I'd say- I- Whoa! <gasps> he looks like Jacob Sartorius. I'm not even kidding. Look at this. Tell me that's not Jacob. Oh my god, Jacob is quaking. All right, so anyhow, Annie was seen leaving the party with this child. And um, some fan tweeted out this. So apparently Hayden regretted the breakup with Annie. He talks to some of his friends about it and after the premiere, he said he doesn't like Austin. Ooh, beef. And that he will get Annie back. I have proof, but it's Snapchat proof, so you guys wouldn't believe it. So why bother posting it? Ooh, sis, bring bring it on. I'm <laughs> On the 4th of July, Hayden tweeted this. Girls can be friends with boys. Boys can be friends with girls. It's a lot of shade, a lot of shade. Someone literally just tweeted my mood. It says, someone please tell me that it isn't just me who sees leaked Hanny pics and just scrolls past. Hashtag I'm depressed. <laughs> me too. All right, so there's also rumors that Mackenzie Ziegler is dating this kid named Johnny Orlando because they have a song together and they kiss in it and there's a lot of stuff. I don't care about them, so I don't want to talk about that relationship, but that's another piece of information. So apparently the day they broke up, Annie was in her bed crying. And Hayden was out with this kid that's also on Chicken Girls. He plays Tim Sharp. I don't know his name. So apparently he went out to lunch with Caden and acted like nothing happened. So this kind of shows that Hayden literally didn't even care about Annie. Because after they broke up, he wasn't even sad. But then, a couple weeks later when he realized that Annie was out having fun, like at Instagram prom, at the premiere, he realized he fucked up. And now he wants her back. 
That's what I'm getting from this research. Well, if Hayden misses Annie, why doesn't he just ask for her back? Do you think Annie would take- Oh! <gasps> Do you think Annie would take him back? Ooh! Leave a comment down below. God. Okay, I found another tweet by, um, Kenzie. It says, For once I thought you were my friend. Is that shade at Annie? Is that just a random tweet? I don't know. Oh my god. They're so cute. Like, I'm also sad. They're not friends anymore. Like, they were such good friends, like, before they started dating, before, like, Chicken Girl started. Like, when they just first met, they were doing collabs together. He was in, like, a lot of the Retailia vlogs. And now that they broke up, they're not even friends. Like, that just makes me so upset. I'm upset. So, apparently, this was, um, tweeted during, like, Chicken Girl season one or something. It's by Kenzie. It says, I'm so jealous of you two. Hayden, I want you back. Oh. <gasps> That foreshadowing, her stealing him back. They're so cute. Oh my god. If you watch Chicken Girls, you'll understand where I'm coming from. How passionate I am about this relationship. They're so cute together on the show. So cute. And there's going to be more seasons of Chicken Girls, which I think is going to be so, so awkward. But maybe they'll become friends again. Maybe they'll just date again. I, I don't know. I low-key wouldn't give him a second chance. Nah, I wouldn't give him a second chance. Why is everyone breaking up? First Liza and David, then Hanny. What's next? Cole and Sab gonna break up. Joey and Daniel. Comment down below if you even know who those two couples are. Alright, so in conclusion, Hanny was the best relationship ever. You should watch Chicken Girls. Mackenzie Ziegler can still come on. I hope you guys enjoyed this really weird video. I'm sorry it's so long. Um, I'll see you guys next Sunday. Deuces.